Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We're Lindy Vanna and in this video we will be showing you how we're going to do our van curtains. Stay tuned. Hello guys, yes please hit subscribe below, it really helps us out, thanks a bunch. So for a long time we had a couple areas in the van where we felt that would be really useful to have some curtains. So that was mainly in the front where we have our toilet, our gas tank and a little empty space above the seat. Also at the back, sometimes when we would open the rear doors and one of us is still in bed and it just kind of, I don't know, didn't feel very cozy. So another thing, sometimes when the pillow falls down, it goes all the way down to the garage. And so now having the curtains that will stop the pillows from falling behind. So now Gabby's gonna take you through a step-by-step -step process of how she made these beautiful curtains. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not really a seamstress and my sewing skills are very much average, um, but I did my best to make these curtains and they turned out okay. Welcome to the office. So this is where I usually work and now we've set it up for sewing. So we've got the sewing machine, we've got the curtain that just arrived in the post. Well, it's not really a curtain, it's actually a set of beddings. So we will use this to cut it up into pieces to make our curtains for the van. We thought this would be a little bit of a cheaper option. We looked at some beautiful fabrics online that you buy by meter and they turned up to be fairly expensive for what we needed to do. So we ended up just buying this on Amazon, a set of duvet covers and we're probably going to use the pillowcases in the van. It's always good to have some extras. So yeah, very excited to see what it looks like. Yeah, this looks really really good it's a lovely kind of muted color and it's got one pattern kind of triangles on one side and then on the inside it's got stripey um, stripey texture so it's gonna be interesting we can kind of decide which one we want to use um, which one works best. I've taken some measurements before we bought the curtain but I forgot how I measured it up and I just want to double check before I start cutting anything. So I'm just going to run to the van quickly and take the measurements again. Hey mom. Hey mom. Let's go to the van and measure some measurements. Measure some measurements. So we're going to have two curtains here. We're going to have one covering this section all the way to the floor and then the second section is going to go up to the bench. So let's have a look. Let's go to the bench. Our beautiful garage. just cut all the pieces so we're gonna have this pattern at the back at the rear doors and then we're gonna have two stripey pieces at the front just before I start sewing um, I'm gonna iron all the edges and then I'm gonna as you see these edges kind of would start frailing really quickly so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold it once 
and then fold it again and that's going to create a nice edge like that but i'm gonna i'm gonna iron it first and then use these pins to secure it in place and then just go all along the edge so let's go and iron first so now i've gone around all the edges uh, on this fabric and i fold it twice ironed it around and this will form an edge to the curve so i've secured it with the pins all i need to do now is to go around the perimeter with the sewing machine seams just around the whole of the perimeter uh, but big thanks to my grandmother who taught me how to sew when I was a kid and she's very good they would sew all of their clothes they would make all of their clothes back in the day back in 40s and 50s so it's very kind of usual for them to make their own curtains beddings and things like that I can sew something that is square and it does come in handy every now and then. Um, so I wasn't sure how to do the fold uh, for where the curtain rail um, wire thing is going to go. So I thought I could Google it or I could give my grandma a call. So I just gave my grandma a call earlier and she suggested that I fold it like this and then do two lines and then the wire would go in between the two lines instead of I thought I would do one line and then it would go at the top so it's going to be very much um, my grandma style little curtains I've definitely seen these around the house kind of under the sink or um, just you know hiding little utility things so yeah I think it's going to look pretty good and I must say Ach bonita. Last one. Yes. So, the, so this is the cable cable. So the way it works. So this was my grandma's suggestion to do two lines so that the cable goes in between rather than hanging on the fabric. So the way it's gonna go, we will feed it through in between these two lines and it will go in like that hi guys so today's a new day and we're ready to put the curtains up so this is the short one and it will go just here so what we need to do now is we've got this cable so we've got these little guys and we've got the cable so we will um, go from one end all the way to there and I think we're gonna do one support in the middle there because we will have a short curtain here and a longer one there Okay guys, so this is done now. We've got three eyelets here at each point and it looks really good. We're really happy with it. Yeah, super pleased. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the back and we have more of these little eyelets and we will insert them one in this end, and another one in the end and then one in the middle. Okay, so it's done. 
We have two curtains, it's tied at the top, three points, one in the middle, two at the sides, and it looks pretty good. Super pleased with this. It makes it feel so cozy inside the van now, complete game changer. Yeah. And they're not too heavy, so they're kind of a bit transparent, so you still get the light through, but you get this like really nice bit of privacy. So now we're going to fix the bottom part. Um, I made room for another line at the bottom. We weren't sure if we're going to have enough of the wire, but we do. So what that's going to do is going to fix this to the middle so they don't blow open when we open the doors and it will also prevent the pillows from falling down. Thanks a bunch for watching the video guys, I hope it was useful. Please, if you've made your own curtains, let us know. Give us any feedback in the comments section below, we're always up for learning. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Over oh, and out. out.